Hi, good morning, sec twos. This is Mr. Xiao, and this will be the video lesson on the purpose skill. Uh, so before I get started, please get your message and purpose worksheet. And you'll realize that um, the worksheet I have here is slightly different. And the reason is that I'm continuing on based on the worksheet I was using in the message lesson. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. So have your message and purpose worksheet. And uh, at any point in this video, you can speed up, slow down, or pause to suit your learning pace. So recall that in the previous lesson, we learned about message and we looked at five different sources. We said that the message of the source is the main idea or argument of a source. And we said that it is different from the inference because an inference from a source is done based on the question focus. But the message of the source is extracted, is summarized, is concluded, is a judgment, it's made without a question focus. Right? So in a sense, we said message questions are harder than inference questions because you don't really you aren't really given any clues on how to begin. You just jump right into it. And the way we did it, we said, was to generate as many ideas about the source as we can, and then we connect these ideas using connectors. And because I, so on and so forth. So if you need to refresh how we did this, uh, can I refer you back to the previous video on message? Uh, the key is that we generate ideas from the source, we connect them, and that's the message, right? We will somehow hit the main idea or argument of the source. Uh, so recall we went through no message, sub message, uh, full message. We talked about all this. And in this source, we said that there, there were two ideas. There were two ideas. The ideas were that they are mistreated, they were badly treated, and that they were starving, these prisoners of war. And we said the way to get a message was to combine these two ideas, treated badly and starving. And then they, we said we can use the word because. So message was allied prisoners of war were treated badly because they were starved and given little food. Okay. So I want to now pivot to purpose. Let's go to page five of the worksheet. So, and you'll recall that we already did all these in the previous video. So page five of the worksheet, let's look at it. The purpose question is a step up from message, right? If you have inference, and then you message is a step up from inference, purpose is the next step up. So what is purpose? Purpose requires you to look at a source and figure out what the source wants to achieve. Again, purpose wants to figure out what the source intends to achieve. In other words, the purpose of a source is a verb taken on an audience based on the source's message. Now we see why these two skills, message and purpose, are put in the same worksheet. Because to do purpose, you must be able to do message. Message of the source is part of its purpose. The source wants to achieve something. The source wants to get something done. The way the source goes about achieving its intentions and objectives is to send a message out to an audience. It doesn't just want to send the message out. We have used a verb. It wants to convince or criticize an audience. And our audience could be the Japanese, Singaporeans, or even Asians. So for example, 
Singapore pe people in Singapore, uh, the Japanese army, Asians. So these could be potential audiences. Please write, please write these examples down on your worksheet. Having sent the message to this audience, right? Having sent the message to this audience, the source wants the audience to do something. The source wants the audience to do something. This is called the outcome. This is called the outcome. So the outcome is an audience action that leads to a final result. And so for the purpose question, you could think of it as four letters. V-A-M-O. Verb. Audience. Message. And outcome. Please write this down on your worksheet. The purpose question demands a verb, audience, message, and outcome. And the two verbs I teach you now are convince and criticize. There will be a third verb taught to you in term two. But for now, we only need two verbs, convince and criticize. So these are the potential question formats. Why was this photograph published? This photograph was published to convince an audience, convince people in Singapore. This photograph was published because it wants to criticize the Japanese army. So these could be potential combinations of answering uh, starters that we are going to use for the purpose question. So we jump right into it. Question six, why was this photograph published? Explain your answer. It's a purpose question because it says why. Because it says why, I know I need to use the word because. So my answer must have this word because somewhere. For a why question, you use because to answer it. And it's here, because. Can you see it? So this photograph was published because. Who is publishing it? Let's look at it. It's published in 1945. In 1945, by the British. By the British. So I start my answer. This photograph was published because the British, the British, want to do what? So here, I need a verb and I need an audience. I'm starting on my purpose answer. Let's recap. The po possible verbs are convince and criticize. This photograph looks to be very negative, right? It seems like it's going to be criticized, but let's think about the audience. Who might the audience be if it's criticized? Right? It could be, it could be the Japanese army. So let's say that this source wants to criticize the Japanese army. If that were the case, what is it criticizing the Japanese army about? What's the message? And here, the reason I've left the answers from the previous video lesson intact is because this is where we use those answers. We use the messages we have crafted. Let's go back. Right? And here we already have the message. Prisoners of war were treated badly by Japan because they're starved and given little food. We even have the evidence. So I'm just going to plonk it in. Okay, and I'm just going to say that for a purpose question, the marks are a bit different. This would be 3 and this would be 4. But look at it. We are, with having done message, we are already more than halfway through purpose, right? If you know message, you are more than halfway done with purpose. So far, the question, why was this photograph published? Our answer goes, the photograph was published because... The British want to criticize the Japanese army that the Allied prisoners of war were treated badly by Japan because they were starved and given little food, right? This evidence from source A, which shows me that the Australian soldiers after the war were bony, scrawny, ribcage showing. Okay, this is the message. 
why would the British want to send this message to the Japanese army? Why would the British want to send this message to the Japanese army? It is because they want the Japanese army to do something, right? So we have the message. We have VAM. What's missing is the outcome. For outcome, we use the words, this is done so that. Highlight it if you need to. These are the words we use. This is done so that. This is done so that. Outcome, we said, is an audience action that leads to a final result. Audience action that leads to a final result. So what is this audience action? We start with the audience. Our audience is the Japanese army. So let's start the Japanese army. This is done so that the Japanese army will, will, what will they do? Seeing this picture of the brutally treated soldiers who were starved and given little food will feel guilty and regret, remorseful for their poor behavior in the occupation and offer to compensate the work. The, the soldiers, right? Thus, so this is the audience action. The audience, the Japanese army, has taken an action. They are feeling guilty and they offer to compensate. Thus, the soldiers will be comforted and also provided for in their future. And with this offer of compensation, the Japanese army having compensated the soldiers, the soldiers will get this amount of money uh, and will feel like justice has been done. Right? So this is the final result. The audience action, the Japanese army, the audience, the Japanese army, has taken the action of comp uh, offering to compensate and the soldiers now have money. This is an outcome. An outcome is an audience action that leads to a final result. And the final result has to be an observable result. You need to be able to see this, see what will happen. Okay. So at this point, I've achieved all four key elements of my purpose answer. I've achieved the audience message outcome. At this point, I'm at for five months. Can you pause the video and read the question and read the answer to yourself and see how it makes sense, right? You should pause the video, read the question. Why was this photograph published? Explain your answer. Look at the photograph. It's a photograph of skinny, bony uh, prisoners of war published by the British right after the occupation and you think to yourself why was this photograph published this photograph was published because the british wanted to criticize the japanese army for audience that the allied prisoners of war were treated badly by japan because they were starved and given little food message this is evident from source a where i can see the australian soldiers after the war were bony scrawny and their rib cages are showing message and evidence why was it published right having sent this message this is done so that the Japanese army will feel guilty and remorseful for their poor behavior, offer to pay the soldiers, and the soldiers will now get money and be provided for. Outcome. See how this whole answer ties together. In an exam, in an exam, the answer would look like this. So I would like you to pause and read how this question leads to this answer. How the question leads to this answer. If you can see how the purpose question is structured, why was this photograph published? Photograph was published because the British wanted to for audience. Oh, I forgot the message. message and outcome if pause this video at this point if you read the whole answer and you can see how it's tied together you will have understood purpose you have understood purpose again 
the purpose of any given historical source is a verb criticized to be taken on an audience, the Japanese army, based on the source's message that the prisoners of war are treated badly because they were starving and given little food. And with this message sent to the audience, the army, the audience will now take an action, will pay for, the, pay for their bad behaviour. And that action leads to a result where the soldiers are comforted and provided for. This is called the outcome. Verb, audience, message, outcome. Does it make sense? You see it? I hope you see it. If you don't, pause and read. And at this point, we are at five marks. So the more perceptive of you will realize that it's not done because this is a six mark question. So where is the last mark? The last mark comes from context, from historical context. So the context here reads, coming from the context of 1945. Let me make this a bit smaller. Coming from the context of 1945, how did I know to choose this year 1945? Do you figure it out? It's because it's in the source provenance, right? This source was produced in 1945. So I want to look at this year. What is happening in this year? What is the relevant historical surrounding detail and event that explains why the British would be publishing this picture, would be trying to demand co compensation from the Japanese, would be criticizing the Japanese army. Why? What's going on? And in a sense, I can see that from the provenance that the Austrian soldiers are malnourished, they just came out of prison, likely the occupation just ended. So in other words, the context I need is this. Coming from the context of 1945, Japanese occupation had just ended, and the British are horrified to discover how their soldiers had been badly abused, right? They have just come back to Singapore to find that their ex-comrades and colleagues are in this scrawny and bony state. Of course, they are enraged. Of course, they are angry. Of course, they want to criticize the Japanese army. So the context ties together the entire purpose question and answer. Because of this historical context of the Japanese occupation, the desire of the British to criticize the, the Japanese army about their maltreatment of the Allied soldiers and to demand that the Japanese army feel guilty and compensate, this all makes sense. Context is the final mark. In other words, you need to know some history to answer the purpose question. You need to know some historical knowledge. What if you are not sure what the historical detail is? Write down what you know, but if you are not too sure, it's all right. For a purpose question, you will achieve five marks just by formulating the verb, audience, message, and outcome. So again, the verb, audience, message, and outcome, all four of these things must come out very strongly. Okay, let's go to the next example. Why did General Yamashita make this speech? Explain your answer. So, we have to answer the question, why did General Yamashita make this speech? Something made this speech. What goes here? Of course, General Yamashita. General Yamashita made this speech because he wanted to... What comes in here? Yes. Verb and audience. I've taught you only two verbs, right? Convince and criticize. So it has to be one of these two. Who, what, which one is it? Let's look at the, the provenance for audience and then we can figure it out. It's published in the Shonan Jitpo. It's this newspaper in 1942. So, it is published in the Shonan newspaper in Singapore. We can expect the audience to be what? Would it be people in Singapore, Japanese army, Asians? It's probably people in Singapore. And in this case, what does he want to do to them? 
He wants to scare them, for sure, drastically expel and punish. We talked about this last time. But more than that, he wants to convince them. He wants to convince them. What does he want to convince them about? Let's go back to our message, message question. He wants to convince them that... Oh, I removed it. Okay, never mind. We can figure it out again. So he wants to convince people that... That... They should not help the collaborators or rebel against Japanese forces because, because those who break the law or rebel will be very harshly treated and tortured. We said this last time. I think something along these lines, right? We have the message now. And this evidence from source C, we have our favorite evidence. Uh, drastically expel and punish uh, those who are against the orders and disturb the military action. Yeah. Okay. So outcome. What is outcome? This is done so that so that, again, we say audience action. Our audience is people in Singapore. People in Singapore would, would be, be what? Be scared and not there to help the rebel forces, rebel groups, rebel groups like Force 136, like MPAJA. We have the audience action. We need a final outcome. Us rebel groups would get little support from the people and be easily crushed by the Japanese forces. Or you could even say Kempeitai can flex a bit and show off how much you know. And that's the final result. Right. And so we have everything. We have V, we have A, we have M, we have O. Perfect. Uh, where are the marks? Again, message L33 with uh, message L33 with evidence L34, outcome L45. Okay, last one. Coming from the context of when, of when, here, right? 1942, right? Why is the general talking about this in 1942? Because the Japanese had just conquered Singapore. There will be local people who hated the Japanese and they want to sabotage and attack the Japanese. That's why the general is warning them, don't you dare. Don't you dare fight back or you will be squashed like a little... Right, don't you dare. Uh, so this is the period of harsh repression and scariness and terrible general uh, torture, you know, fear, terror, everything we've learned in chapter 6, it all comes back to help you, help you answer the purpose question. That's why we did chapter 6 content, we've covered chapter 6. It all comes back to help you. So, again, I want to sort of put the answer together for you and let you look at how it flows. And I think that will instill a sense of, of what purpose is and how purpose is done. So give me a moment to stitch it together. Okay, I would like you at this point to pause and read this on your own. Pause the video, read the question, why did General Yamashita make this speech, explain your answer, and read the answer out here to yourself. 
read it out loud if you have to. General Yamashita made this speech because so on. Read it out. See how the purpose flows as an answer. And you will conclude that verb audience message outcome are ways for you to craft together a, an answer that really clearly establishes the purpose, the goal, the intended outcomes uh, of any given historical source. Okay. Let's do one more. So, the rest of these questions, where are source B published, where are source D published, where are source E published, these questions really follow the same style of what we've done, which is verb audience message outcome. And they all come from the sources in your previous pages of this worksheet. So source B, we call is these like happy children smiling. We say the message about be pleased and thrilled, right? Published in 1945, pleased and thrilled. Uh, people happy that they're all back. Source D, uh, we did this message last time. It was about um, how Asia needs to support, help Japan because Japan is the leader and Japan sacrifices herself to promote Asia and thus create a harmonious Asia. We talked about this. Source E is the local students learning Japanese in school. And we said that the message is that students of different races are benefiting from the Japanese occupation because they're learning Japanese language well under the, the happy teachers. Go and try purpose on these sources. Go and try it. What? Uh, the questions are, are here. Questions are here. And you can refer to this video or the previous video for all the message answers. So go and try it. Why was Source B published? Source B was published because the local newspaper wanted to what? Convince Singaporeans that what? The message, right? Verb, audience, message, outcome. Go and try. Go and try. Let me do the final question here, which is question 11. Question 11 is very interesting. It's a new, it's a new source. We haven't looked at it before, and now we'll look at it. It's the cover of mag a magazine about Greater East Asian cooperation. This should remind you of the Greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere that we have already looked at. Published by the Japanese. Ah, so it's the Japanese that are publishing this magazine in 1942 and it was spread around the Asian countries so you already know who the audience is you already know who the audience is the clue is here the audience must be right again verb and audience here the audience must be Asians Asians and if it's Asians does Japan want to criticize Asians no, right? Jap the whole point of Japan's propaganda, Asia for the Asians, is to elicit and solicit support from the Asians in this World War II. So you can pretty much bet your last penny that this is going to be convinced. Convince Asians. Uh, who published the magazine? It's in the source provenance, the Japanese. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit smaller so I can see everything. So the Japanese published this magazine because they wanted to convince Asians that we need a message now. We need a message. How do we generate a message? We come up with bullet points for all the ideas. Okay. Um, you know, I see many Asian children. So different Asian countries, because they all have the different, different flags, should be united. And then they are happy. Why are they happy? Why are they cheerful? Why are they waving? Because they are Asian countries are pleased to, to be liberated and freed by Japan. Japan, right? Japan is freeing them. So that's why they're all pleased, they're all happy. Can we combine these ideas? Asian countries should be united. Uh, should be united in their support for Japan. And, we can use the word and, right? Yeah, please and okay. Yeah, perfect. 
this would be a great message. It, it comes in from the source. It's evident from source F, which shows, which shows what? The different Asian children representing the different Asian countries, including boys wearing the flags of China and, and Manchukuo, all standing behind the boy representing the pen and smiling happily. So, so the clue is here. The first three boys are Japan, Manchukuo, China. Japan is this boy. They are all surrounding him. They are all standing behind him. They all want to support him and they're all happy. They're pleased to be freed by him. So maybe there's, there's a different word we can use here besides being liberated, defended or protected. Protected and freed because they're all standing behind him, right? So he is the protector. Pleased to be protected and freed by Japan. Okay. We have the book, we have the audience, we have the message. Let's do the outcome. Outcome is what action? Audience action. Who's the audience? Asians. This is so that Asians will realize that Japan is, is what? Being a great country is, has noble intentions to save them and will support Japan in the war by providing resources and manpower. So this is the audience action. It will lead to a final result. Thus, Japan will get more help and be able to better fight against the Allies in World War II. More help from Asian countries and be able, better able to fight Allies in World War II. Final result. That's my outcome. That's my outcome. Right? Japan wants this support in the war. It publishes this, this magazine cover. This magazine cover will convince Asians that really they are all happier if they are being protected by Big Brother Japan. So come, Asian countries, come. Come and work with Japan. Come and work and secure your brighter, happier future of an independent Asia. Asia for the Asians. All this propaganda ties back together. Uh, and I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. I'm just going to do the context. Coming from the context of when? The context of? Coming from the context of? 1942. Japan was fighting World War II in Asia against China and Western allies. Japan's war effort. Oh, it's 1942. Yeah. So really, the Pacific War has just started. The Pacific War has just started in 1941. 1942, Japan's fighting this fierce war. And Japan will get better results, more success if, if the Asian countries such as China and Manchukuo and India began to wholeheartedly support Japan with raw materials, resources, and manpower. This is a complete purpose answer. I've hit the verb, the audience, the message, and the outcome. I even have the relevant historical context. I hope that in this lesson you have taken down all the notes you need to take down. I hope that you pause the video at different points in time to read the purpose question, for example, uh, why was this magazine cover published? Explain your answer. And look at the answer and see how the answer is crafted using the technique of verb, audience, message, outcome in order to best explain what a source wants to achieve, which is its purpose. I hope you see how these things are stitched together, are crafted, and flow as a source-based answer. In, uh, finally, in the last minute, 
I would like you to look at this. At the end of the worksheet, there is a, a table. This table is a success criteria rubric. It tells you how your answers map onto the achievement levels that we have uh, stated here. So an excellent purpose answer would have a good verb, a very strong verb like criticize or convince, a specific audience, a clear message, a, a well-developed outcome, which is audience action and final result that's observable, or the evidence comes under message that supports the message. And finally, the context of the time, coming from the context of 1942, what is happening that is relevant to understanding the purpose. Purpose is the most tricky skill in WA1. It requires the most knowledge and critical thinking. But if you can accomplish this, if you can achieve a clear understanding of purpose, you'll be well set up for the rest of the year and indeed for upper secondary source-based skills. So Sectus, that's my lesson on purpose. I hope it has been helpful. And I encourage you to, after copying down the answers for uh, questions 6, 6, 7, and 11, after copying these three answers, I encourage you to go on to full scap, full scap, and attempt questions 8, 9, 10 on your own. If you want me to look at your answers, book a consultation, or if you have no time to book the consultation, write it on full scap, ask your friends, discuss, talk it through, think about it, uh, discuss in your class WhatsApp at reasonable timings, not at night, reasonable timings, figure out together, and together we will achieve good results, we will aspire to achieve, we will do our best, and we will learn our best. Okay, thank you, Sactus. That's my lesson on purpose.